Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're working on the SpaceX helmet. Now, I have most of it finished behind me, but we'll get back to that in a second. A few weeks ago, I started this project and it was going all right. I 3D printed the model. I was able to find a model online and I 3D printed that. My 3D printer hates me. It, it just absolutely hates me. I've been printing for four days. 13 hours straight. This is officially the second to last print. But after three to four days, I had actually had something. It wasn't good, but it was like the right shape. Step one was 3D printing the helmet. So, next thing, step two was assembling it. As you know, I'm a professional when it comes to these things. I've been doing this stuff for years. Uh, we're gonna put popsicle sticks inside and uh, hot glue to bond the popsicle sticks. No, actually. It's pretty strong though. I spent at least four hours sanding. Thanks to the current situation, I actually couldn't get a uh, mask. <laughs> Step four. What was step four? For step four, I coated it with epoxy to make everything rock solid and kind of stick together better. This erased a lot of the uh, print lines and gave it a glossy finish, but we're not done yet. Step five was the visor. I 3D print. Printed the visor um, so that I could use this to heat mold. I was gonna use clear PETG plastic and like use science to heat mold the plastic and conform it to the shape of this visor. And that didn't actually work. Uh, I made my own vacuum chamber, uh, which should allow me to push this down and then have the vacuum s do the suck, suck this to the uh, mold. But that didn't happen. And right now I use my vacuum molder that I spent at least three hours on constructing, prototyping. Uh, it's a coaster now. And if you have a vacuum molding machine, uh, please hit me up because I could definitely use one. Like, I, I, I will buy the plastic myself. I'm just not going to spend more than $30 on my own vacuum molding station. And I don't trust myself to build another one uh, after the first one. That is coaster. So what we're gonna do today is basically the finishing up of the helmet. Uh, black is just the primer and you can tell that it's got lines over it that uh, it's not completely smooth yet. So we're gonna take this outside and sand it down. So let's go outside.
actually kind of work. So I do feel like uh, this is a good way to get lung cancer. Not gonna lie, I'm uh, pretty disappointed. Uh, the helmet did not quite turn out. So the visor is an utter disappointment. For, for starters, I can't see out of it. It's just solid plastic. And um, that's because I don't have the machine capable or the device that is necessary to vacuum mold this plastic into the shape. There is a way around it though, um, and I might try that for the next update on this helmet. Oh. This is gonna make a great bicycle helmet. If you look closely, you can see there's holes all on the helmet, there's bumps, literally garbage. This is garbage. Hey, but it took a long time to make. Honestly, it did take about a month to make many, many hours of sanding. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want to see an update to the first iteration of the SpaceX helmet. Comment down below. Uh, what you thought about this video, and uh, I'll see you next week. I mean, that's honestly kind of cool.